So for this problem, we have C3H8. Now, um, since carbon's in group 4, we write down 4. And since the subscript is 3, we have 4 times 3. Um, and then for hydrogen, it's in group 1. And then we have a subscript of 8, so it'll be 1 times 8. So that will give us 20. So usually when you draw these structures, especially if there's a lot of carbons and hydrogens, you keep the carbons together and the hydrogens will surround it. So what I mean by this is have your carbons lined up and then have your hydrogen surrounding it to get your total amount of electrons. Also, try to keep a zero formal charge. Now let's look at why this is zero formal charge. Um, so each one of these uh, carbons, right? So let's count the number of dashes. So one, two, three, four. Four minus the group number of carbon, which is four. Four minus four is zero. Once again, one, two, three, four. Four minus four is zero. Once again, one, two, three, four. Four minus the group number of carbon, which is four. Four minus four is zero. And for hybridization, what we do is count the number of domains. In this case, it'll be the same. But if there was lone pairs, it would change how you count it. But we count by domains, so one, two, three, four, four domains. Remember that the exponents have to add up to the number of domains. So remember that there's a one right here, so one plus three is four, adds up to four domains. So this is sp3. Once again, one, two, three, four, one plus three is four, sp3. One, two, three, four, one plus three is four, sp3. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.